So hi everyone, it's actually Sunday night. At the moment, it's already 8 in the evening. And uh, earlier, a little after lunch, I think around 2 o'clock, my kids' advisors already told me that uh, they that this coming week is going to be their review week. And uh, their quiz, their first quiz is already scheduled on the 22nd. And uh, somehow they gave us an idea of how the quiz is going to be administered. So there's going to be four students per one proctor. It's going to be done online. So I still cannot picture how that would work. But anyway, they have told us that tomorrow, that's Monday, they're, be, they're going to hold a consultation, perhaps to orient the parents and the kids on how the setup would be. And of course, they have already sent the learning guides, the activities, and the answer keys for this week. So right now, that's what I am doing. So they have sent it on the email of uh, the students. I mean, one of the advisors, I think it's, this is for Nigel. So for the grade five advisor, she sent it via email. And uh, the grade two, uh, I mean, grade three advisor, uh, he sent it via Facebook Messenger. So I have, uh, I'm in the process of downloading everything and I'm going to print them now so that by tomorrow, we will be ready during the consultation. So hi, good morning. It's actually Monday morning and the kids are set to have their consultation with uh, their advisors regarding the quiz. But the problem is the power has been out since 3 a.m. here in Santa Fe. So I messaged their advisors on what other options do we have if the power would not be restored by 9.30, which is the schedule of their consultation. So, yeah. And Nigel's advisor replied and said that uh, she might just uh, talk to him over the phone. So, hi everyone. It's Tuesday morning and the kids are on to their review sessions already. So I have observed that they are getting hyperactive with the kinds of uh, things that they watch online, especially on YouTube, and uh, the kinds of music that they listen to. So they've been listening to a lot of fat rats uh, <laughs> lately. So if you're familiar, you know, fat rat, I mean, the music is nice, but uh, it might not have a good impact on their ability to focus. So right now, I'm trying to make them listen to classical music. So that's actually Mozart in the background. So I've seen that uh, Kieron is able to focus more and uh, he can do his things. He can write his uh, review questions even with little supervision from me while listening to classical music. So yeah, and Nigel also has uh, told me that uh, he can focus better while listening and hopefully this will be a good uh, hopefully this is going to be a good week. So yesterday was the consultation of uh, the kids with their advisors and they asked one by one what subjects are they having difficulty with and uh, they took note of that and hopefully uh, the subject teachers, the concerned subject teachers will be able to provide supplemental materials to help them understand the, the help them understand the topics more and of course they have provided uh, us with the the contact information of uh, all their subject teachers as well so you have the email address their email address their facebook accounts or facebook names as well as their uh, mobile numbers so in case uh, we have uh, issues with their subjects we just need to coordinate with the specific subject teacher personally that is so, so it's three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, it's time to have a little shasta for me while the kids are watching magic school bus on netflix so nigel discovered this show on netflix uh called magic school bus so 
they are able to learn a lot of things about science, English, and math. Uh, yeah, by watching that. So I'm trying to control their screen time on YouTube, as I have told you earlier. Hopefully, by watching these educational shows, they're not only entertaining but also they are learning something. So there they are, watching Magic School Bus. past lunchtime and the kids are back to their reviews they actually had they actually finished one subject this morning and uh, I'm hoping that they'll be finishing three subjects per day so I think uh, they're already done with I mean here Nigel is done with the uh, six subjects if I'm not mistaken he only no. needs to finish seven what I think six no. so hopefully he'll be able to finish two more uh, and by the way, we are able to discuss some of the the concepts in his AP because that's where he's really having a hard time, especially with the you know with the Filipino being the medium of instruction in AP. So now he's doing his language, and later on we'll continue with his. Thing. Meanwhile, Kieran is done with the I think four or five yeah i think four and he's on his fifth subject so hopefully by tomorrow they'll be done with everything so that i can give them a sample quiz on friday so again we have classical music in the background not only does it help them focus i think it's also helping me be more calm and uh, composed yeah, it keeps me from throwing a fit because, uh, you know, just uh, helping your kids out uh, in their studies while, of course, you still have uh, other jobs in the house, other jobs. Um, well, like work? Other, yeah, other work and tasks to accomplish that could be really stressful. That sometimes I find it hard to keep my cool. Yeah, I, I tend to lose my temper, that is. So we're done with another day. The kids are already watching TV because they were able to finish three subjects today. And yeah, they only need to finish two more for tomorrow. But for Kron, I think I still need to give him some more worksheets uh, because there are some concepts that he tend to forget. So hopefully I will have time on Friday to look for some more worksheets online that I'll have to give to him. So yeah, um, they're down to their last two subjects tomorrow. So that would give them plenty of time to finish other activities. So earlier I've decided to tend the garden. So I asked the help of the kids and somehow I think they had a good time as well. So we repotted the plants because I haven't been able to, you know, work on them for some time. But yes, I think uh, such an activity has helped me relax a bit. And uh, I guess it's an achievement for me that I would not lose my temper today. <laughs> so I guess uh, tomorrow is another day. almost nine in the evening and Karen is almost done with his ESP which is the last subject he's supposed to finish for the day so once he's done with that we'll just have it checked and uh, perhaps and we'll here's have a to... deal when I got along 
So yeah, if you have heard him, we actually get a deal that uh, for each item that they're going to get incorrect, they'll get one spank. But of course, uh, since I also encourage them, or since I also recognize that people are allowed to make mistakes, they get one free spank. So that means they are only allowed one mistake for every exam or for every subject. But once they exited one incorrect answer, then they'll get one spank each for each incorrect answer, that is. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't intend to include that in the video, but yeah. Um, that's one thing that I have, uh, I don't know. That's one thing that I have thought about because some of their mistakes are either because they did not really make an effort in understanding the question or because of sheer carelessness so i wanted to i wanted them to be more careful and to try their best in understanding the questions that is regardless if it's just a review exam or review test so that's it so by the way uh, nigel has been done with uh, with his work um i think this afternoon and we are going to have uh, a movie marathon tonight because they're already done. That's their reward. And uh, perhaps I can multitask, you know, movie marathon while I'm working on some editing, writing jobs that uh, I have to finish. So, see you again tomorrow, guys. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> so, the kids have just finished watching Fearless on Netflix. Um... Yeah, I think it's a good movie. Uh, some parents might not agree with me that I let them stay up late, but uh, yeah, they actually also wake up late anyway. <laughs> so that's it. Um, we're done with our movie night. Tomorrow is going to be another day. Good night, world. So perhaps you can ask Nigel his reaction to the movie. So how did you find it, babe? It's ugly. <laughs> What? It, it's fearless. Turns <laughs> out the hero was the fearless one, not the player. I mean, not the player. What do you mean, not the player? Well, the player's not actually fearless. It was the hero. Who was the hero to begin with? The babies. Oh, okay. All right. So I think it's a good movie for kids to watch. <laughs> I um, like the although... that there were too much love, love in the air. Yeah, I, I mean, and there's a, there's an. And I also of... like the military in that movie. There are thousands of tanks and troops ready to shoot the bad guy. How gun. come a boulevard yeah. can carry a thousand tanks? Anyway, so um, there is an element of romance, but I, I think it's pretty uh, toned down. So um, I recommend Coco Melon. <laughs> so I would still recommend it if you have uh, kids who are around. I think it was tagged 7 plus, right? No, on Netflix. 7 minus of... No, 7 plus. So, so I think it's appropriate for for the kids. For <laughs> and I also like 7 games. and up kids. So but kids I really... are already 8. And Nigel is 10. So mm -hmm. that's it. So it's time for us to say our prayers. And have a restful night. I really prefer Coco Melon. So hi, good morning. It's Friday morning and I just woke up. I really found it hard to sleep last night. So we were able to watch one movie last night. Uh, and it's called Fearless. It was a nice movie, I think. And uh, yeah, I think the kids enjoyed it. There is a little element of romance, but it's pretty toned down. So I think it's a good movie for kids to realize that they can't be trapped in the virtual world, especially those who are getting hooked on online games, that is. So, yes. So, if you're wondering, by the way, why there's Coco Melon in the background, I explained to the kids that the music actually does something to their mood, to their attitude, and so they started <laughs> listening to Coco Melon. I mean, the, the music is okay. I mean, the songs are cool, 
but you know it takes you back to when they were just little kids and it's just a bittersweet realization that your kids are no longer babies Nigel is pretty much approaching puberty stage and Karen actually doesn't want to be called baby anymore uh, so yeah anyway we're supposed to have uh, uh, their review again today but I still haven't I still haven't downloaded some worksheets for them but anyway no rush they're done with their review quizzes or review tests provided by their uh, their subject teachers and their advisors by the way announced that there's going to be a consultation on Monday so I think hopefully they'll be they'll be discussing how the quiz would go or yeah, the exam would be administered else I will definitely be asking about it so that you know I could orient the kids on what they're supposed to do during the quiz so yes uh, have a nice day everyone so today had been rather slow the kids just sent, spent their time a bit outside so we had our just uh, in the garden and uh, yeah after some time they're already back to their uh, gadgets by the way hopefully tomorrow they're going to have their taekwondo training so that they'll have more physical activities that is the past two weeks they did not have their training perhaps because I mean their trainer is actually also a teacher and as we know recently teachers have been very busy preparing for the upcoming opening of classes so I just don't know in uh, the school where their trainer is teaching at I, I just don't know if uh, they have already started with classes I'm going to message their trainer so that I would know if they would have Taekwondo training tomorrow. So hi everyone, it's Saturday morning and the kids are just waiting for their trainer for their Taekwondo classes. And just like academics, I mean Taekwondo trainings had been trying to adjust to the new normal setup and they are now doing it uh, in the pri privacy of uh, the students' homes. So right now, Nigel is all geared up <laughs> for his like one of the lessons, and so is Kiran. But where's Kiran, babe? Where's Kiran? So yes, uh, I'm currently fixing their sample quizzes. Uh, I've decided to give them another set of uh, quizzes after their taekwondo class and um, yeah I just read the announcement from say hi baby chariot show yourself <laughs> okay so yes I just uh, read the announcement from the kids school on how they're going to administer the quiz and um, from what I understand they're supposed to they are supposed to take the exam, so write their answers on their notebook, and then afterwards, the parents or the guardian will have to take a photo of their answers and send it immediately to the kids' uh, teachers, so via Facebook Messenger. So they also have a, a set time, set schedule. So yeah. So immediately after they are done with the subject or answering a specific quiz, they will have to send it the, within the time frame. It's so from one time So yeah, and of course the school did not forget to emphasize that, that you know, quizzes, exams are, are supposed to measure how far or how much the students have understood.
have the area for you. Okay. 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 So there has been a slight misunderstanding between me and their trainer. So the kids ended up uh, getting geared up early. And so I've decided to just uh, make them answer the review tests that I've prepared before their training. I mean, or while they are waiting for their trainer, that is. So I'm trying to keep a distance from both of them because, you know, Karen has a tendency to ask questions especially since uh, he's really having a hard time with Filipino. So I'm trying to... He's just going to get a higher grade than mine. Focus, Nigel. Focus. So I'm trying to give them a dry run on how the quiz will be because during his lessons or while I was teaching him his topics, he would usually ask translations of words. And uh, most of the time, I'm the one who's reading out the instructions and reading out the statements and the like. So, yeah. Hopefully, he'll be able to do well in the quiz, even though I won't be allowed to help him out.